It is rare for we to be elected president. Especially a country that has long history of patriotic, oligarchy, and subordination of women. Our Filipino country encourages both to view women as less prone to corruption. This means that in terms of political corruption, women must take higher office, head, and advantage. Both Aquino and Aron invoke this cultural belief in women's morally superior role in order to legitimize their entrance into public office at a time of political Women have been the source of all that is cute, unselfish, and heroic. My God, I can feel that we are experiencing today what seems to be the crushing tidal wave of social malice. A feeling that there is a terrible sickness in our society. Past political events shook the country to its very foundation and nearly brought us to the throes of despair and hopelessness. I personally think that there is a need for women like us to get involved and become pillars of what is good and morally upright to reform this nation. We cannot deny that more and more Filipino women are now engaging in politics and are making enormous contributions to the society. Other women who made mark in the political arena for bravely pushing for what they think is the best for this country. Miriam Defensor Santiago, Lauren Ricard, Grace Padat, Jan Maria, Darlene Custodio, Pia Cayetano, including the former San Fernando City Mayor, Mary Jane Ortega, our very own Vice Mayor, Mario Vita Fontanini, who also served as Mayor of Bacnoten for nine years, has gradually changed the face of Bacnoten. Progress is exemplified by the imposing infrastructure projects that mushroomed during her incumbency as head of this town. Shepi Tomaitis, strong intellectual leadership that blends harmoniously with her mother and the touch. These women are advocates of promoting the people's well-being through quality education, economic progress, anti-terrorism laws, clean and green environment, unification progress, and good governance. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, women have the power to change the course of history. Women in politics to make a difference in the lives of the Filipino people. Yes, they have the power to lead, to excel, and to succeed. With women involvement in politics, the Filipino people will surely be in good hands. Women political leaders of today blaze new trails towards peace, progress, and prosperity. 